been suspended and facing calls that she be fired. A middle school teacher in St. Lucie County accused of urging students to beat up a seventh grader now faces withering criticism. Brian Nenton live in Port St. Lucie where the school board took action tonight. Brian? Stomped, kicked, pushed down, and beaten with a belt. That is what allegedly happened to a seventh grader here at Northport K through eight. And tonight, now it is the seventh grade teacher and the team leader who is on unpaid suspension after new allegations surface in this district report. Just like that, the St. Lucie County School Board voting to suspend middle school teacher Drew Dehart. And it all stems from this new 28 page report calling the Northport K 8's teachers' actions wholly inappropriate. She's sick and ignorant, and some, I mean, she's a disgrace. There's not even like cause for it to do that to a student. And I wouldn't forgive her for that. This surveillance video shows what happened in March to Radravius Williams when investigators say the seventh grader was beaten by classmates. Shocked, I was floored. The new report says one of the students told investigators, quote, Miss Dehart told us to come out here and do this to him. It's truly unbelievable what happened. I mean, a teacher ordered a hit on a child. But that is only the beginning. Tonight, new allegations that Dehart tried to cover it all up. The report says she tracked down students during lunch and contaminated their memories. Well, six children went to jail, and as far as we're concerned, they're victims in this case as well. They were manipulated. They were told to uh, have a certain story. Dehart not answering her door tonight, but the report says she called students into a private meeting. One eighth grader saying she told us to write that we heard him curse. In this letter, the superintendent tells Dehart she wants her fired, but it can't happen yet because the teacher asked for a special hearing. Do you think that this teacher should ever be in a classroom again? No. No. I wanted her to like be like fired and everything, but if whatever they give her is what she gets. The boy's attorney says that she will file a lawsuit against the district next month. Uh, also inside this just released report, it says that other teachers should be counseled because they allowed students to leave the classroom. One teacher uh, even reportedly saying that she didn't notice that the students had left her classroom. Also in the report, some teachers saying that they would not talk to investigators or provide statements about what they did or did not see. Live in Port St. Lucie, Brian Enton, WPTV News Channel 5.